Some crimes are so horrific, so brutal, that they defy words. The murder of Kayleigh Hayward is such a crime. Over a two-week period, this 15-year-old schoolgirl was systematically groomed online by a man she had never met. A man who knew full well what he was doing was wrong, but who, hour by hour, day by day, ensnared her with bogus messages of affection. Those 14 days culminated in Kaylee telling her parents a little fib, asking for permission to spend the night with a school friend. In fact, she had succumbed to this man's persistent attention and had agreed to spend the evening at his house. We will never fully know what happened that weekend, but in the early hours of Sunday morning, Kaylee was raped and murdered by her groomer's next door neighbour, and her body was left in a wood. I cannot adequately describe the horror of her death and can only imagine her terrible growing sense of panic when she realised that weekend, as she must have done, that her life was in grave danger. I can't start to understand the horror of her family, her friends and the communities of Mishan and Nibstock when they learned of Kaylee's shocking death. In my view, online grooming is a real, modern threat to our children and Kaylee's story demonstrates, in the most harrowing fashion, the ultimate potential consequences of children talking to strangers. I can only hope that we all, as parents, take note of what happened to Kaylee. We need to understand that there are people within our communities who are using social and digital media to beguile, to lure and to entrap children. They are in a very tiny minority, but sadly they do exist. Kaylee's parents have shown enormous courage and dignity since their daughter was so needlessly, so brutally and so terrifyingly taken from them. Their dignity and response is really, truly humbling. The support of many thousands of people of Leicestershire, and in particular the people of Misha and Ibstock, has been astonishing. From helping us to search for Kaylee, to the love and ongoing support that they have shown Kaylee's family. The behaviour of the two men, who in their different ways are responsible for what happened to Kaylee, is beyond condemnation, beyond words. They now will spend many years in prison for their appalling crimes.